with his creative regime under scrutiny due to the ratings gap growing to all-time highs in the past month, Nash and the company plan to revamp the product visually and creatively on April 5 with a new look and logos to the show, with Nash involved in two segments to open and close the program first to set up the rematch against Goldberg, and almost three hours later coming out for commentary on the main event four-way title match. Nash came out and announced the following week cutting a promo on him being next for a title shot, with his biggest number of the month coming on April 19 in a first-time-ever match with Ric Flair drawing a peak 5 rating, closing the month in another four-way main event doing a 3.6. With him carrying a knee injury and in the middle of contract dispute with the company, Goldberg worked what would be his last TV match for the next three months on April 26 in a four-way title match picking up 500,000 viewers to a 3.6 rating, while opening the month as the first one to appear on the new Nitro campaign coming out for an open challenge to set up the Nash Starcade rematch and confront Flair and Hogan building up a four-way main event in what would also be Hogan's last match before knee surgery picking up big with over 2.2 million viewers to a peak 5.8 rating. Goldberg cut a promo challenging anyone in the company on the way to winning back the title on April 12, before opening Nitro's third hour in the match against Kenny KO's jumping over 700,000 viewers to a 4.4 rating arriving to the building the following week to set up Goldberg vs Page in the main event in the Havoc pay-per-view rematch, picking up over 1.2 million viewers to a 4.4 rating. A week after his babyface turn on McMahon and the corporation, Big Show faced Rock and Hunter in a handicap match in the main event on April 5, before teaming up with Austin to take down a Titantron in the Raw overrun doing a 7.2 rating. Show worked three TV matches in the next three weeks combined jumping over a million viewers against Christian Viscera in a tag match with Mankind against Test and Bossman drawing quarters between 6.3 to 6.6 .6 rating, while in the background starting the build-up to the first show versus Taker match with them facing off for the first time on April 19. After a week of hype for his return, Sting was back full-time on April 5 to close the show in the overrun doing a 5.8 rating to announce himself returning to the pay-per-view main event title match on Sunday, with him opening Nitro on April 12 for a promo to hype his return and confront Flair, setting up his TV return match since October 98 against Flair jumping over 1.7 million viewers to a show-high 5.5 rating. Sting got his first singles title shot back on April 26 with Roddy Piper booking it and announcing the match to take place minutes before 9pm when Raw goes on the air, leading to the Sting vs Page match maintaining almost the entire unopposed viewership to start with would also be the peak of the night 4.9 rating that saw Sting winning the belt to a huge reaction. After years of working for the opportunity, 
Dallas Page got a shot for a run on top in April 1999 with him headlining every Nitro show during the month as world champion in four main event title matches, first in a four-way against Goldberg Hogan and Flair doing Nitro's highest rated peak of the month 5.8 rating, while a week later Page faced Scott Steiner in the program blow-off match jumping over 1.1 million viewers to a 5.4. Page faced Goldberg in the rematch of the still highest rated match in Monday Night Wars history on April 19 doing a 4.4 rating in the main event, with him working twice on April 26 first dropping the title to Sting at 9pm in a match doing a show high 4.9 rating, before winning it back two hours later past 11pm in a 4 way against Nash Goldberg and Sting doing a 3.6. After turning heel as the company president over the last month, Ric Flair was building up his power trip angle getting crazier by the week while having the highest viewership gain in the industry for his segments and matches along with peaking every live Nitro show he was on in April. Flair's three peak segments started with the highest rated match of the month with a big star power four-way match in the main event of the first revamped Nitro from Vegas spiking over 2 million viewers to a 5.8 rating, with Flair working against Sting the following week in his TV return match doing another massive gain of over 1.7 million viewers to a 5.5, WCW's highest rated quarter in almost three months. April 19 saw Flair in another high-profile match with the first Flair vs Nash match picking up over 1.4 million viewers to a show high 5 rating, with the post-match angle of him taken to a mental hospital setting up the angle the following week with Flair closing the month in a series of comedic skits booking the show from the hospital in Florida. After being off television since last June with knee injury, Randy Savage was back full-time on TV in an angle with Flair not allowing him to return to the ring, building up the feud with Savage interfering in Flair's matches on the way to being reinstated. After becoming some of the most featured characters in the business in the last year, the first in-house McMahon's feud was set to take place in April 99 with Shane gradually turning on Vince to take over the corporation while he was distracted with protecting Stephanie from Taker, building to a big segment on April 12 with Shane officially turning on the family and slapping Vince to a shocking reaction to open Raw with a 5.8 rating. Shane led out the corporation for a promo targeting Austin and Big Show on April 5th in a segment doing a 5.6 rating while McMahon was backstage throughout the show with Stephanie and security, setting up Taker eventually sending a message to McMahon with the quarter doing the peak of the night 6.7 rating. Vince was in the company studios on April 19th for an interview with Stephanie before being interrupted by the ministry and running to attack them in the parking lot setting up the payoff the following week a day after Taker kidnapped Stephanie with Vince asking Austin for help before interrupting the ceremony segment an hour later combined jumping over 1.6 million viewers.
Undertaker's chase after Stephanie to get to McMahon along with a feud against Ken Shamrock was heavily featured throughout April with multiple segments on a weekly basis, starting on April 5 with Taker and the Ministry coming out unannounced during Raw's first hour to send a message to Vince saying that there will be a sacrifice tonight, setting up the segment an hour later with Taker getting Ryan Shamrock instead, doing 6 and 6.7 ratings with a combined gain of over 1.6 million viewers. Taker and Shamrock were all over the show the following week with segments in four separate quarters on the night, first with the Ministry coming out at the top of the hour with Taker sending a message to McMahon through Deborah, bringing out Shamrock for the save before finding Ryan in the boiler room with another attack from the Ministry in a quarter picking up over 700,000 viewers to a show high 6.8 rating with Shamrock returning to close the show calling out Taker again to start a brawl in the build to their backlash match. After a month of build-up Undertaker kidnapped Stephanie to set up the ceremony segment in the main event on April 26, jumping over 1.4 million viewers in the overrun to a peak 6.8 rating. April 99 saw Rock gradually turning babyface throughout the month, playing off the crowd at the Nassau Coliseum on April 5 before main eventing the show in a handicap match with Triple H against Big Show jumping over 700,000 viewers to a 7.2 rating. The next two weeks took the build-up to backlash to the next level with Rock involved in some of the most memorable segments in Raw history. First with him calling out Austin to a Detroit bridge before throwing him off an hour later, while a week later Rock drove a hearse into the building hyping a funeral for Austin taking place in the main event segment, reading a eulogy before Austin arrived in a monster truck with the segment jumping over 1.6 million viewers to a 7.1 rating. With the crowd reactions forcing Rock to turn, the planned long-term Rock vs. Austin program into the summer of 99 was cut short at the Backlash pay-per-view with Rock officially turning on Shane and the corporation on the day after the event, setting up Rock vs. Shane with the match picking up over 900,000 viewers to a 6.3 rating, as Rock ended April with the highest viewership gain in the WWF. Steve Austin started his first title run of the year during April being strategically placed in hype segments resulting in him having the highest rating average in the industry with a 6.6 .6 rating. Austin made his first appearance of the month with Raw already two hours and past 11 p.m., running in to confront the corporation after Shane put the smoking skull belt on the Titan Tron throughout the show to end with Austin and White taking it down and ripping the screen in the overrun doing a 7.2 rating. Austin came out to call out Rock the following week in the segment doing a first hour high 6.5 rating, before driving to take his belt from a bridge over an hour later and end up in the water, setting up Austin interrupting his funeral on April 19 arriving minutes before 11 pm to run over Rock's car and take him out six days before the rematch in the overrun drawing a peak 7.1, with Austin bumping Raw over 900,000 viewers to a 6.3 rating for the Backlash follow-up promo on April 26 with McMahon asking for help with Taker, 
ending the month running in for the save to take out the ministry and the overrun doing a peak 6.8 rating.